Hey everyone, Coach Emma here. I'm gonna to talk to you about my experience of fitness and how I got into the fitness industry. It first began when I was at university. I was extremely stressed with, you know, deadlines, um, personal things that were going on in my lifestyle at that time. And I developed a negative relationship with food and this resulted in me stress eating, emotional eating, which eventually then transitioned into an eating disorder better known as bulimia. And the reason why this happened was because I was heavily stressed with the high demanding lifestyle that I had and it also the additional pressures that I was putting on myself. I wasn't able to cope and my way out or my way of finding some kind of escape from that stress was in food. It made me feel better, it brought me comfort. But unfortunately, this habit eventually led me into resulting in having an eating disorder. And so when I began to look into ways to heal from this, I started to explore strength training. It was brought to my attention by a friend of mine and wasn't something that I had ever thought of before because I was cardio queen. My way to damage control any um, binges or overeating that I did was go on the treadmill for an hour, burn calories, burn, burn, burn. So I really did become cardio queen. I never really thought about strength training. I went into the gym, I started with a personal trainer myself, getting into weightlifting and the feeling that it left me was incredible and it made me feel empowered, it built confidence, I started to respect my body more, I was less stressed because I had a way to deal with stress, I had an output so it wasn't all building up inside of me and it really did just completely transform my life and is the key reason why I ended up breaking away from my eating disorder. So I'm extremely passionate about this and I wanted to pursue a career in it so that I could spread the message and help other people who were in a similar position that I was in. That's how I got into fitness. I was really passionate from my own experience. Now my style or my coaching approach is most certainly a combination of mindset um, to help with the root cause problem of what is causing things like overeating, stress, depression, feeling unfulfilled and unsatisfied in life. These are some of the biggest um, triggers for stress eating and emotional eating. And so that's why I believe that the mindset uh, is really a key part of the coaching process. And then you have the physical activity. When you're in the gym, for me, it was all about the resistance training, the weightlifting, because the weightlifting made me feel powerful and that built confidence and I basically felt like a badass and I wanted to stay feeling like a badass. I didn't want to be this timid little girl um, you know, that was struggling at home in the evenings watching Netflix and binging. So the feeling that the weightlifting gave me was just incredible and that's why, again, it's a really important part of the coaching process in my eyes. And then for me, the nutrition aspect is all about survival. Our bodies need certain nutrients in order to survive. This is science. So we take away all of this confusing stuff like low carb diets, keto, paleo, whatever it may be, and we just come back to the whole purpose of nutrition, vitamins, minerals, um, carbs, proteins, and fats for your body to function, and also to help optimize your way of living, better energy, improved focus, more productivity, hormone regulation, emotional regulation. So the three aspects that are absolutely key for coaching in my eyes are the mindset, physical movement, and the nutrition, which is what we do here at Aspire. So that is me. I hope that gives you a better idea of how I got here, and I will see you on the gym floor.